In this video, I'm going to show you how to screenshot on your iPhone. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this with an iPhone 13, but it should work for any iPhone that does not have a home button. So the first way is to quickly press both the side button and the volume up button at the same time. So the side button is this button here, and the volume up button is this button here. So we're going to press both of these at the same time quickly. So once you do that, you can see a little preview of your screenshot here. And if you want to access that screenshot, you can go to your Photos app. And you may need to go to Albums and click Albums again. And you can scroll down to this Media Types and Screenshots. And if you have a whole bunch of images already on your phone, that's where you can easily find whatever screenshot you just took. Now, one special trick is if you want to screenshot a web page, for example, and you want to get something that's more than just the screen that you can see, you can go to the web page that you want to take a screenshot of. So let's say you actually want to get this entire full screen web page. So you can do that as well. The procedure is the same. Quickly press the side button and the volume up button. But this time you're going to want to tap on that preview. And up here, you should see an option for full page. So if you tap on that, you can see now here, if you drag and slide, it has created a screenshot of this full web page. Now, if you wanna do any editing or markup, you can do so down here. You can also crop, anything like that. But if you're done, you can just press done. And this one won't save to your camera roll, but you can save a PDF version of it to the Files app. So I'll go ahead and tap here. And so now, just in case, um, you can go ahead and tap Save. You can decide where to save this, I guess, is what it's trying to show right now. So you can just tap Save. And it'll take you back to the app you were in. But let's say you want to find that in your Files app. We can just do that search here and we'll find the files app. And now you can see here in our recents, we can tap on this. And now we actually have a screenshot of the Apple homepage here. So that's super useful for having a full page screenshot. So uh, other ways you can take a screenshot include using Siri. So I can activate Siri here. If you have it activated just by voice, you can say, hey Siri or if you're like me and you prefer to press and hold the side button a little bit for Siri to come up, you can do it that way. So I'm gonna press and hold to activate Siri. Hey Siri, take a screenshot. And there you go. So if you find that the two button push a little bit too hard, you can just ask Siri to help you as well. Now, one thing you may want to know is how to get rid of that sound. You might want to temporarily put your phone into silent mode. Hey Siri, take a screenshot. And there you can see that way it didn't make that little camera clicking sound after taking that screenshot. And one other way you could take a screenshot is if you go to your settings app and you scroll down to accessibility and tap on it, then find touch in the list and tap on it, and then you can scroll down until you find back tap. So we're gonna tap on that. And here it says we can double tap for something and triple tap for something. So right now you can see I have these set to screenshot and control center. So if you tap on the double tap row, uh, you might probably already have it saying none. And then you can go down here and find screenshot. So now it will say screenshot here for you. So now you should be able to go and then it'll take a screenshot that way as well. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you wanna learn more about your iPhone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.